Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's morning prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaitaria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. Here at Kingdom Transformation, we are the bridge that connects identity, purpose, and destiny. Because when you know who you are, you can passionately pursue purpose. And when you passionately pursue purpose, you can occupy the place called destiny. Here at Kingdom Transformation, self-care is soul care. Because when you take care of the very depths of your soul, you can live the quality of life that Jesus Christ died for you to live. 3 John 1 and 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. God wants us to be a people who when we uh, enter into him, we can prosper in accordance with his word because we allow him and him alone to be the very restorer of our soul. The 23rd Psalm uh, lets us know that God himself is the one who restores us. It is he alone who makes the difference. And we have been in a, a, a series uh, praying about our consistency, about building ourselves in, up in such a way that we could be a people who are consistent. And it is so important to note that the very first thing that the enemy comes for is your ability to be consistent. It's your ability to go on in spite of what's going on. Consistency, your ability to remain the same regardless of external factors. Consistency is your ability to remain in the very nature and the very DNA and the God design that you are regardless of the external pressure that has been placed upon you. We are those who belong to Jesus Christ. And as those who belong to Jesus Christ, consistency is our portion. And with consistency being our portion, we have the ability to allow the very grace of God to bring us into a realm of consistency that we would not otherwise know. And as we press on this morning, and, and I want us to know that um, you know we have the grace that gives us what we don't deserve. But I want us to press in concerning the grace that empowers us to be who we were always originally designed to be. That grace that when it hits us, it allows us to super abound in accordance with the word, with the plan, with the purposes, with the directions of God. When the spirit of grace it's the life of a man or a woman. The ability to be consistent is there. We need grace. We need the spirit of grace. We need God's grace on our lives to be a people who are consistent. Because oftentimes we are looking to do it on our own, in our own strength, in our own way, with our own directions. Zechariah 4 and 6 not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. What have you been doing in your own might? What have you been doing in your own power? So we are, are, are reading Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 and it reads, um, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, save the Lord of hosts. Verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, Grace, 
grace unto it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. As we are pressing in and praying this morning concerning our consistency, we are looking for the very grace of God to abound in every area of our lives. Paul said that he would rather glory in his infirmities for uh, his, the Lord's strength is made perfect in Paul's weakness. Where sin abounds, grace abounds even the more. God wants to give us the ability to step into who we've been called to. Good morning, Wanda. God wants to put his glory on us in such a way that we will carry out what he has spoken unto us. And so we are going to press in and pray on this morning. Lord, we bless you in the master name of Jesus for calling us to a place and a space of consistency that we will leave behind, oh God, our idea of what it means to be consistent, that we will break away, oh God, from our ability to be consistent and we will pick up your plans and your purposes concerning us being consistent. We will pick up your way, oh God. We will be instructed in how you have called us forth to be as a people who are consistent. Lord, we thank you for your grace in the name of Jesus that on this morning we can enter into your grace. We can settle into your grace. We can rest in your grace. We can allow your grace to impact us. We can allow your grace to impart to us. We can allow your grace to strengthen us. We can allow your grace to guard us. We can allow your grace to build us, oh God. We need your grace, oh Holy Father, that we will be a people who are consistent in accordance with your words. There have been many moments, oh God, when we have felt weak and looked for people, places, and things to support us. Help us, oh God, to be a people that when we are weak, we look to you knowing that in our weakness, you are strong. In our weakness, we have an opportunity to tap into the glorious reign, oh Father God. In our weakness, O oh God, in our humanity, divinity steps in and changes our situation. We are crying out for your grace on this morning, O oh God, that we will be a people empowered to do what we were created to do. We are crying out for your grace on this morning, that we will move ourselves out of the way. We are crying out for your grace on this morning. That we will be a people who identify as those who are called by the name of the Lord. Lord, every other name that we have answered to, oh God. Every other name that was not becoming to us. Every other name that did not build us. Every other name that has distorted our view and vision of who we are in you, oh God. Let us break away from that place. Let us break away from the place. But well, we have named ourselves despicable names that have come against the very grace and glory that you are looking for. The very grace and glory, O oh God, that you are looking to impart unto us in this hour, O oh God. Reveal unto us, O oh God, every name that we have answered to, every position we have placed ourselves in that you have not called us to. On this morning, O oh masterful King, we are saying, let us shed it in the name of Jesus, that we will step into the realm of grace. For your grace is sufficient for us, O oh God. Your grace is sufficient for us. We admit, O oh God, we have been trying to be sufficient in our own strength. We have been trying to make ways with our own um, um, 
thought patterns and our own decision-making capabilities. We've been trying it, oh God. But today we lay down the try and we pick up in the name of Jesus the press. The press, the press, the press. So we're laying down our try. I'm trying to do this thing. And we're picking up our press because the press moves us out of the way. When you press a thing, you are flattening it. You are working the the kinks and the coils out of it. When you press a thing, you are stretching it beyond its own original uh, capabilities, allowing it to look like what it did not look like before. We need you, oh God, to step into our situations that we will be a people who are pressed beyond measure, oh God. That we can enter into places and spaces that we could not otherwise engage in. Lord, we want to consistently allow your grace to abound over us. We want to consistently allow your grace to lead us. We want to consistently allow your grace to fill us. We want to consistently allow your grace to impact us. We want your grace to impart to us. We want your grace to strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, but we have tried it in our own strength. Reveal it unto us and show us the power of your grace, oh God. Show us the power of your grace and the mercy that comes with your grace, oh God. Show us the power of your grace, O God. The ability to step into places that we have not qualified for. The ability to see ourselves as you see us even before we have even totally, fully metamorphosized. O God, let us be a people who appreciate your grace. Let us be a people, O God, who press into your grace. Let us be a people, O Father God, who yearn for your grace, who yearn to be in your very presence, O God, who yearn, O Father God, to be touched by you so we can be impacted by you. O God, we are calling forth for your grace, O God. We need your grace on this morning to change our minds. We need your grace on this morning to change our hearts. We need your grace on this morning to impact how we make decisions, O Oh God, we need your grace on this morning, oh Father God, to bring us to a place where we are solidified in you, no longer looking at the opposition, oh God, but entering into a place where we look to the hills from which cometh our help, knowing our help comes from you, that we are consistently caught up in your presence, oh God, that we are consistently impacted by the words you speak over us, oh God. That we are consistently led by you, O oh God. Let your grace touch us like never before on this morning, O oh God. That when anything contrary to your grace begins to speak, we shut it down with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We call forth for your fire on this morning. That as your grace is abounding, super abounding and encapsulating us, let your fire destroy everything looking to distort us. Let your fire consume every life from hell that has been opposing us. Let your fire burn up our weaknesses that we would glory in our infirmity, knowing that it is in our weakness that we have been made perfect in you. Lord, that we would allow your perfecting tool of patience to do what only she can do, O oh God. That we would come out as you have called us. That we would come out of ourselves into your glorious reign of your son, O oh God. That we would come into the kingdom of your Christ, O oh God. That the antichrist kingdom that we have once lived in, O oh God. We would break out, O oh God, knowing, O oh Father God, that it is your grace that's sufficient for us. So reveal to us every way we have been against your Christ, O God. Every way that we have been against your way. Where we have looked for alternatives in the building process. Instead of allowing you to give us what will firm us up in this season. We need you, O Holy Father. We need you, O Masterful King. Because there have been cracks in our foundations. And we have sought for other materials to build upon. But on this morning today, O Father God, we say we shut down every counterfeit work. We shut down every 
inferior material. We shut it all down and we call forth for your grace on this morning. In areas, oh Father God, where we were trying to manufacture our own will, oh God. In areas where we were trying to discover how we were going to make it out, oh God. We surrender in the name of Jesus. We surrender in the name of Jesus. And we say, let your grace rest on us. Let your grace break up the fallow ground that we have been holding on to. Let your grace break up the very fallow ground that we have held on to, oh God. Let your grace break up the very fallow ground that we have been holding on to, oh God, that has distorted our vision and our picture of ourselves in, con in, in connection and conjunction to you. We say no more in the name of Jesus. We say no more when we have a, dis a distorted picture of who we are, but we will allow your grace to impact us on this morning, oh God. We will allow your grace to draw out every imperfection and every infection in the depths of our soul that is bringing us to a place of waywardness and weakness. On this morning, oh God, we say draw out the imperfections, draw out the impurities, oh God, draw out uh, uh, the disguised and the distorted, oh God, and bring us to a place of revelation in you, oh God. Bring us to a place of illumination by your word, oh God. Bring us to a place where we are impacted and imparted to by your spirit of grace. Speak to our hearts where our hearts have been hardened on this morning, oh God, because we have not consistently bowed down and worshiped you. On this morning, oh God, we say let our hearts consistently hunger and thirst after righteousness that we will be filled, oh God. We have been starving, oh Father, because we have not been feasting in your presence. We have been feasting on fear. We have been feasting on doubt. We have been feasting on unbelief. We have been feasting on our own abilities, oh God. But today we say no more. Today we call for grace. We call for grace, oh God. We call for grace, oh God. Let your grace rest upon us. Let your grace devour anything that does not bring us to the place of your glorious reign. Let your grace, oh God, open doors that no man can close. And let your grace close doors that no man can open. Let your grace look our enemy in the eye and say no further in the name of Jesus. Let your grace change our minds on this morning. Grace, 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 oh God, that we would be a people who consistently abide in your presence. For your word says that if we abide in you and your word abides in us, oh God, that we can ask what we will and it shall be done unto us. Grace, oh God, grace on this morning, oh God, grace in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, every place where we have opposed you because we looked at your grace and said it wasn't sufficient, oh God, we repent in the name of Jesus. We repent in the name of Jesus. We repent in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we say, order our steps on this morning. We say, enlarge our path so our feet don't slip. We say, Holy One of Israel, break up what's breaking us up in the name of Jesus. That we will be a people of consistency in this hour, oh God. Where our consistency has been suffocated by the blindness of our eyes, oh God. Open them that we may see. Open our eyes this morning and show us where we have begun to bury things that you wanted to live, oh God. Open our eyes and show us, oh God, where we have tried to nurse things back to health that you have called an end to, oh God. Lord, help us, oh Father, to stop calling good evil and evil good, oh God, that we will be able to be consistent in your presence. Lord, reveal the counterfeit and the fraudulent activities of hell against our soul that we will be a people who can be consistent on this morning. Every attempt, oh God, to rob us of consistency, 
every attempt to rob us from connecting and communing with you. Every attempt, oh Father God, to remove the deposits that you have made in us, oh Father God, that we don't have any strength to stand. But today we say, let your grace strengthen us. That we will stand in the name of Jesus in every place where the enemy has siphoned our hope. Every place where the enemy has siphoned our joy, oh God. Today we stand consistently in the place of grace. We thank you. For the grace to come before you boldly, oh God. We thank you for the grace, oh God, to overcome our situations. We thank you for your grace on this morning, oh God. That we will be a people who consistently participate in the grace that you have given us. Oh God, wrap us in your grace on this morning. Wrap us in your grace on this morning, oh God. Wrap us in your grace on this morning. Well, we have been unsettled, uneasy. And unfaithful, oh God, we call for grace, 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 grace. Right every wrong on the inside of us. Strengthen us to move forward like never before. Grace, grace, grace in the name of Jesus. That we will be a people who are consistent in this hour. Let your grace break the lie. Let your grace break the lies and reveal where we thought we were doing it all alone. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit on this morning. We speak to every mountain that has come against us and we command it to be a plain. We speak to every pride field thing. We speak to every wayward thing. We speak to every lion thing and we say we have been dispatched from the throne of grace to be a people of consistency. In every place where you have come to rob us of our consistency, we command you to become a plane. We command you to be level. We command you to be obliterated. We command you as the opposition to no longer be an opponent in our arena, but we bring you to the arena of grace where you are de uh, demolished by the God of grace, where you are demolished by the God who stands in and fights for us and contends with those who contends with us on this morning morning we are looking for the God of consistency to step into our situation and level every mountain in the name of Jesus we say oh mountain that has come against our destinies oh mountains that have come against the plans of God for us oh mountains that have thought you were going to stand in the way and obstruct our view we enter into grace on this morning and we thank you, oh God, that your grace enlarges us in you, oh God. It enlarges you in us, oh God. It brings us to a place where we're no longer depending upon ourselves, but where we can see the God in us, where we can see the bigness of our God that has given us the abilities that we have. On this morning, we say, Grace, make it plain in the name of Jesus. We say grace, oh grace, move on our behalf. Grace, oh grace, shake the very hills and mountains that have come against us. Grace, oh grace, release the plans of God on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Empower us to be who we were always designed to be. Oh spirit of grace, make a difference in our lives on this morning. We cry for grace in the name of Jesus, that we will mount up with wings as eagles, that we will run and not be weary and we will walk and not faint because of the grace, the grace that is sufficient in this hour. In any place where we have depended on our own strength, let us be reminded that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. On this morning, we want to feast on your word, O oh God. On this morning, we want to feast in your presence, oh God. We want to be partakers of your kingdom, oh God. We want to be partakers in your rulership, oh God. We want to be partakers in the reign, oh God. Lord, we want to be partakers in the truth of who you are. And so we say confront every lie in the depths of our soul. Lies that have bound us. Lies that have restricted us. Lies that have distorted the picture of who we are. In God. 
For it is in you, O Holy One, that we live, that we move, and that we have our very being. Because of the grace. Thank you for the dispensation of grace, O God. That we would not mishandle grace. That we would not misuse grace, O God. But we would allow grace to impact us and change us on this morning. Because of your grace, we're never going to be the same. Because of your grace, we are never going to be the same. Inconsistency cannot stand before us because of your grace that brings us into a realm of consistency. Not that we would make excuses, O oh God. But we would seek you in the name of Jesus for every solution. We will seek you in the name of Jesus, O oh God. To break up every lie that's looking to bind us. Grace in the name of Jesus. Grace in the name of Jesus. That we will live this life by the faith of the son of God. Who loved us and gave himself for us. That we will live in the name of Jesus. Outside of the realm of struggle. Because grace showed up. Grace empowered us to be who we were always designed to be. Grace called us into consistency. On this morning, we agree with your grace, O oh God. On this morning, we agree with your grace, O oh God. On this morning, we agree with your grace, O oh God. And we say every place where we have opposed your grace, we repent in the name of Jesus. Every place, O oh masterful King, where we have said who we were not in accordance with the words that were released over us, we repent in the name of Jesus and we begin again to day in the realm of grace in the strength of grace in the might of grace in the power of grace that we will be partakers of the divine nature that you have called us to grace oh god let your grace abound and shake the very foundations of hell that have been cowering against us where our minds have been tormented oh god where our hearts have been unsettled oh god we say grace bust in and break us out in the name of jesus we thank you for every grace key that we are receiving on this morning we thank you for every map of grace oh god Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for the intentionality of your grace towards us. That as your grace is intentional towards us, O oh God, we will enter into, into intentionality towards you, O oh God. Let us be a people of grace who look to the hills from which cometh our help, knowing our help comes from you. We call forth for your grace, O oh God. Your grace that looks sin in the face and says, you will no longer lord over me. You will no longer rule over me. You will no longer control me and manipulate me. You will no longer bring me into the mundane place of failure, sabotage, and destruction. We say grace abound and, and, and bring us into the grace-filled place that you have called us to. Grace abound in the name of Jesus and break up the fallow ground that is looking to bring us to a place where we are enticed away from the very plans and purposes of our Lord. We say, oh, graceful one, do what only you can do. Oh, graceful one, have your way on the inside of us. Oh, graceful one, teach us how to be who we were designed to be, the design of your grace that rests upon us, the design of your grace that stretches us beyond the capacity that we thought we could handle. Oh, God, the place of grace that brings us to the revelation knowledge that your dear son gave it all so we could be all that you originally designed us to be nothing missing and nothing broken because of your grace oh god we appreciate your grace oh god we appreciate how you have called us to a place to press because of your grace oh god we appreciate oh god how we have been called forth to be a people like we have never been before because of your grace we look at every opposing spirit and we say the grace of God has made us whole. The grace of God has made us new and you are lacking in grace. So we trample over you in the name of Jesus. On this morning, we trample upon every scorpion, over every serpent, over every uh, power of the enemy because of the grace that has been given unto us. Grace allows our name to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The, the disciples, the 70 and 2 came to Jesus and said we have and we we have um all of the the demons are subject to us in your name and jesus said uh don't marvel in that but marvel that your names have been written 
in the Lamb's book of life. Grace did that for us. Grace allowed us to have the ability to marvel at our names being written in a place where they did not belong. So we could do things that we could not otherwise do because of something that was lost. Grace returns to us what is ours. We thank you, oh God, for restoring us to our original design, restoring us to the original identity that you gave us, oh God. No longer to have a distorted picture of who we are, but to enter in and to rule and reign as we have been called to we say let your grace abound mightily and we thank you that as we rest in the place of grace consistently that we would see answers come oh god answers come because of your grace oh god thank you for your grace on this morning thank you for your grace on this morning thank you for how your grace attracts your favor oh god how your grace uh, uh, allows us to be reminded that provision has always been ours, oh God. How your grace brings us into a place of stability, oh God. How your grace fortifies us. How your grace wraps us up, oh God. Oh, we thank you for your grace on this morning, oh God. We thank you for your grace on this morning. And so today we tear up every ounce of inconsistency that thought it was going to rule over us. And we introduce it to the grace of our Lord and Savior. We introduce it to the grace that was meant to change us. That was meant to bring us out of situations that were sent to bind us. We imprison inconsistency today. We imprison inconsistency on this morning. We imprison the lies of hell on this morning because of the grace of God. Thank you on this morning, oh God, for your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. That we will be a people who are free to serve you with every ounce of who we are. That on this morning, we believe that your grace is sufficient. That in the areas where we have tried in our own strength, we lay it down today. We lay it down today. I want us to picture how David, um, because of God's grace that came upon him, uh, was able to defeat the lion and the bear because of the grace of God that came on him and empowered him. And many times, when we aren't defeating certain lions and bears, we think it's because God doesn't want us to. But it's because we stepped out of the realm of grace. It's because we stepped out of his divine empowerment for us. It's because we stepped out of the places and spaces that he called us to. But on this morning, we need to live in the realm of grace. Understanding that it is his divine empowerment for us to overcome what's looking to overcome us. The lion and the bear were sent to steal from David. It was sent to oppose what was his. And every morning we face opposition. Every day we come up against something that's looking to oppose us and to take from us what God has rightfully given us. But we have to step into grace if we are going to be a people who abound mightily in accordance with the words of God that have been released over us. Today, we accept your grace, O oh God. Today, we live in your grace, O oh God. Today, we say, open up. Areas that were once closed because we did not enter into your grace. We say, listen, oh atmosphere. We say, spirit realm, respond to the grace of God that we live in. Lord, we bless you for what you're doing in our hearts and in our minds on this morning. And we thank you for your grace, oh God. We thank you for your grace, oh God. And we thank you that all is well. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. As you go throughout this day, Tap into the grace of God, but live in the place of his grace so that consistency will show up in everything that you do. That as you are engaging consistently, you are seeing the very plans and purposes that God has for you. 
I want to remind you um, that we are coming into the month of December and we are going to be forging forcefully ahead into our futures um, as we pray fire prayers. So if you have not gotten or signed up for the e-course, do that today. The e-course comes with the e-book. Um, if you are just getting the e-book, just get your e-book um, today. But go ahead and do that today. Um, we we want to be a people of consistency. If you are on Facebook, and you have a prayer request or a praise report, send it to me. I want to press in. I want to pray with you. And if you are on the clubhouse and you have a prayer request or a praise report, raise your hand and I will um, bring you to the stage um, so you can um, come up and share. But listen, I'll be back 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning as we continue day eight of consistency. And God is um, um, setting us up this way so that when we get to a place where we are forging forcefully ahead, we won't quit because it's going to take fire to get us where we're um God wants to take us. And so we want to make sure we are remaining consistently so we can have what it is that God says. So Facebook, I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.